Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, I will explain to you how to take the 3D models that you saw in the previous lecture and you converted them into zip files. How do we upload them on Enabler? And how do we download the app, which is our app we will be installing on the phone. So in today's lecture, I'll be covering this. So let us continue. So in today's lecture, we will look at, I have a zip file. Now, you know, my zip file contains an FBX, which is my 3D model. Now, if you remember from the previous lecture, we had two sample 3D models. One was the human body. And one was a hand bone, which we saw now. And we also saw that you need to directly zip file it you should not put it into a folder and zip the folder. Correct. So this was wrong. Please remember that. So let us continue. So today I'm going to show you how to upload on our enabler platform. Now on enabler, you can create an AR app, which is augmented reality. You can create a VR app, which is virtual reality, and you can create a hologram app. So, in today's lecture, I will be showing you how to create an AR app. In another lecture, I'll be showing you how to create a VR app. And in the third, I'll be showing you how to create a hologram app. So let us get started. So you can sign into your enabler account and please click on home. Now, once you click on home, you will come into this interface. Now here, you have three options, AR, VR, and hologram. So we will start off with AR, as I said. So let's go ahead and give your app a name. I'm going to say John underscore lecture underscore try. I'm just giving a name. You can give anything you want. And if you remember how many 3D models are we uploading? We are uploading two 3D models here. So I'm going to say two. Now, first, I'm going to go ahead and name the 3D model, which is human body. And the second one will be hand bone. Now I have to go ahead and upload the zip file. If you remember from the previous lecture, where we have to take this zip file and upload it onto enabler. So let me go ahead and upload this. So you click on this plus sign and select from your computer where that zip file is located. So if you remember in the previous lecture, we had created a few wrong zip files, which were wrong. And these were the right zip files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the right zip file, which is human body and say open. And similarly, for my hand bone, I will go ahead and click on hand bones. Make sure you don't do any of the wrong stuff here. Just click on the right one and say open. And we are ready to create our AR app. So just check that everything is in order. We say John lecture try. Right now, just let it be as marker. I will explain to you markerless in a future lecture. And we'll say number of models, human body, hand bone and click on submit. Now the interface will tell you that it's uploading your 3D model. So let's wait. So once your 3D models have been uploaded successfully, you'll get a message from enabler saying that your project has been uploaded successfully. So click on OK. And now on your dashboard, in your dashboard section, you will see the process going on, which is uploading file is done. Now enabler is processing it. It will build your APK, which is your app file. And then it will say done. When it is done, this download button will get activated. So now let's go ahead and wait for this to happen. It takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to speed up the lecture here. And then once these processes are done and we go up to done phase, we will download this. I will also show you that sometimes if you have a slow internet connection, you might want to refresh this page, this reload or refresh this page time to time to make sure 
because because if your internet is slow sometimes your computer does not sync with the website correctly so it's always a good practice that every 5 minutes just refresh this page but if your internet connection if you feel is fast you can wait but i would always suggest to refresh this so i will show you that example so let's go ahead and wait for this entire process to go through so now you can see that it has moved into phase 3 which is building apk now what i would suggest is after 3 or 5 minutes always refresh this page just in case if your internet connection is slow but now since it's just started we'll wait so now after waiting for 5 minutes as i said every 5 minutes you try and refresh the page so i clicked on refresh here and then i go ahead and click on dashboard as you can see my file is ready which was john lecture try i actually should have named it as john lecture ar but it's fine now let's go ahead and click on download now before i do that i just want to also tell you that the same file that is your apk file that we will be installing in our phones in the next lecture is also available in your email so in your email you will receive an email from contact saying that your apk is ready to download with this name so this is a more convenient option because you can also open your email on your mobile phone and directly download it through your mobile phone which is easier but i will show you the long process as well which is how to download your apk on your computer and then copying it on your mobile phone i'll be showing you that in your next lecture and then installing it that we'll see in the next lecture but now i'm going to show you this part so let us go ahead so so this is your dashboard let us go ahead and click on download here now it's going to give you a very interesting name here now what i would suggest is go ahead and name this file the same as what you named your project so it will be easier for you to keep track of all your apks and make sure that this file name is apk so again i'll repeat what i did i clicked on download and i'm going to store this on my desktop for now i am making a new folder on my desktop and calling it enabler apks and i am going to name this apk and call it john underscore lecture underscore try underscore ar which is augmented reality so go ahead and click on save now this file gets downloaded on your computer here and let's just check if it's downloaded so i'm going to go to my desktop in my folder enabler apks and my apk file is ready here so we saw how to download this apk file so let us do a quick recap of what we did right now in today's lecture we saw basically how to take the zip file of my fbx files and we created an ar project which is augmented reality project on enabler where we also named the project and we selected the fbx zip files we also named them and then we clicked on submit after that the apk file was generated and then we downloaded it okay so that's what we did now in the next lecture i'm going to show you how to copy this apk on your phone and then install it i hope this lecture was clear let me do a quick recap for you guys we were at home this was our interface we put in the name we selected the number of modules we entered the names here we selected the files and we clicked on submit so that was our step for generating an ar 
file. I will see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.